The astounding antioxidant capacity of the wild blueberry is what first attracted modern-day scientists to study this amazing gift from Mother Nature. So what's the latest on this healthy little blue superfruit from the wild? All of the research points to improvements in night vision. Blueberries, and especially wild main blueberries, can kind of quiet the storm that's going on within the body of people with type 2 diabetes. Blueberries have been protective against development of uh, atherosclerosis, and in some cases, prevention of uh, cancer. The regular consumption of blueberry juice um, improved brain function and, and therefore um, memory function. Similar to metal oxidizing into rust, oxidation also occurs in the body where it contributes to many diseases and aging. Fruits and vegetables contain antioxidants that protect against this process. And one of the first scientists to understand that wild blueberries contain an astonishing amount of antioxidants was Ronald Pryor. He developed the ORAC test, the most widely recognized method to measure the antioxidant capacity of foods. The word antioxidant now has become a household word, basically. Blueberries, in most cases, have the highest antioxidant capacity of, of any of the foods. And the wild blueberry are even higher than the cultivated uh, blueberry in antioxidant capacities. In addition to antioxidants, recent studies have found that other flavonoids or chemical compounds in the wild blueberry offer significant health benefits. One underlying theme in all of this is the property of these flavonoids as anti-inflammatory agents. And in a lot of our degenerative diseases and processes, the underlying damage is arising from inflammation. And if these compounds are working as anti-inflammatory agents, which there's lots of evidence that they are, that's very significant. Some of the most beneficial chemical compounds are located in the blue color or pigment of wild blueberries. These are called anthocyanins, and scientists like Canadian Wilhelmina Colt are active in studying their health benefits. We continue to look at how these compounds are absorbed by the body, and that's quite interesting. And for that, we really focused on the pigments in blueberries, the anthocyanins, because they are very much the compounds of interest in blueberries because they're so abundant. So what we found is that the blueberries had a very nice cholesterol lowering effect. And this was, you know, in a diet that was already very rich in plant products. Um, so over and above, you know, that healthy diet, the blueberries were having an additional uh, beneficial effect on the, on, the, on the cholesterol. In another study, wild blueberries improve memory function in a group of people with mild cognitive impairment. We showed that uh, the 12 week supplementation with blueberry juice improved performance on the memory. So they were better, um, they learned uh, more effectively and were better able to recall what they had learned. As scientists begin to understand the healthy benefits in the blue pigment, doctors are recommending to their patients a daily dose of blue. Well, I am the co author of a book called The Color Code which is all about the health benefits of brightly colored fruits and vegetables like wild blueberries. And it's a simple way of thinking about food. And the goal ideally would be to include foods of every color every day, try to make your plate as colorful as possible. I encourage patients to start their day with a blueberry smoothie every morning. To me, it's a great way to kind of start your day with an antioxidant protective coating of your brain and your entire inner body so that whatever insults you get during the day, you're protected from them. How is it that wild blueberries pack such a nutritional punch? A plant is not able to get up and walk away when there's a stress. It has to combat that stress with chemicals. Since wild blueberries haven't been genetically altered or pampered like cultivated berries, they have a lot more of those natural protections that help them survive in the wild. Protections you get when you eat them. But how do you maximize their benefits? People hear a lot about functional foods and protection for their health, and it's it tends to become overwhelming and confusing. The thing that's so beautiful about wild blueberries is there's no, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's so easy to use in so many different ways. And wild blueberries are as nutritious frozen as they are fresh. 
they're, they're frozen at the point of harvest. Consumers get confused about that because they think they're processed, but they're not. That freezing actually enhances the nutritional value because it doesn't get exposed to air and light, which degradates the nutritional value. The advantage to that is that you don't have any spoilage. They're like individual little BBs. You shake them out and you use exactly what you need for that meal, put it back. So it's very convenient and generally there's a very big cost savings. The USDA guidelines now call for half of our plates to be filled with fruit and vegetables. It's reassuring to know that just putting blue on your plate, a half cup to a cup a day of wild blueberries, is an easy way to meet health standards. And it's great to know we're learning more about how this convenient antioxidant superfruit does its magic. What's exciting about the research to me is that it continues to grow. More and more people in a wider and wider range of fields of biomedicine are looking at wild blueberries because they're interesting, they produce effects. It's a very exciting time to be involved in this field.